here's the thing that you need to realize about the the whole crossfire hurricane thing. So in addition to working with someone who's legit classified as, as, as this, it's a Russian agent who's classified as an enemy of the state, they kept this investigation open and ongoing. And this was even after they initially received information that contradicted everything that they were alleging. But then they began leaking the allegations to the press. And then they would use, like how Fusion GPS did, they did the same thing. And then they would use the subsequent reporting based entirely on the stuff they were leaking. They would use those stories based on the information they leaked to further substantiate the investigation. That's what happened here. This isn't even an issue of whether or not you like or dislike Trump. This is an issue of, holy crap, my government's doing what? That's what this issue is. Do you want this guy? I mean, if you really think that someone's truly a tyrant, do you want them having this kind of capability with zero deterrent at all whatsoever? Because I don't. I don't care who you are. This is what's terrifying. The Federalist had a, uh, this story's insane. All of these explosive new texts. And this all came in all of these federal court filings from the head of Michael Flynn's defense team, Sidney Powell. One of the agents said, w- said we, we all went and purchased professional liability insurance. And then that was the same day that CNN leaked details they somehow got about uh, being briefed by Comey about the steel dossier, which let's just be honest about it. It's basically taking the bath, the bathroom wall scribblings of an enemy of the state, a foreign enemy of the state and using it to get a wiretap on people. And that whole entire briefing, as Sean Davis notes, all of this was used as a pretext to legitimize the completely and thoroughly debunked allegations in this. This is just insane. And it was all funded. And look, this is not partisan politics. There is a money trail. We already know that because there were certain documents that had to be made public. The only thing that we don't know is, like, for instance, are, are all of the reporters that were actually on the payroll. We only know, like, the entities, some of the entities that were. Like, there was a dude at Yahoo, apparently, that was. No, so it was the Clinton campaign. And they used some DNC cash. And they, all of this with a foreign agent who's considered a, a, an enemy of the state. So this is our government. It's not Trump who needs to be asked whether or not we're going to have a peaceful transition of power. My gosh, it's the people who are doing this.